Hello, everybody. My name is Billy Suvalas, and this is uh, my final project for the CSE 564 course for spring 2023. Uh, before you, you see uh, the poster for this final project, and let's get right to it and, and have a look. So the title of the project is Brain Drain and Brain Gain, a study of highly educated migration. Specifically, the terms brain drain and brain gain uh, describe this phenomenon of human capital flight, this uh, migration of people that are highly educated and highly skilled uh, away from their countries of origin and uh, to, to, to countries uh, that offer uh, jobs and, and, and will be able to accommodate uh, their financial and employment needs. Now, this is uh, this phenomenon was uh, was first um, studied and evaluated, and the term comes from the pre and post Second World War emigration of scientists uh, uh, such as Einstein or Gödel from Europe to the U.S. But human capital flight has also uh, uh, been taking place and has dominated the the recent relevant uh, labor discourse uh, around around the world. Um, uh, I personally, as an international PhD student, um, consider myself to be part of this human capital fight. Uh, and I think that that is the case for, for, for many people that are doing graduate studies, um, for example, in the US. Now let's look at the main contributions and the main objectives of this uh, visualization uh, dashboard, this project. First of all, we're gonna use two uh, different data sets. Uh, one that is specifically um, curated for the brain drain phenomenon. And the second one uh, will be uh, a, a manually curated data set of uh, world development indicators from the World Bank. And both of these uh, span three decades from 1980 to 2010. We are developing a uh, visualization dashboard that is uh, fully interactive regarding time and countries um, that are uh, visualized. And our goal is to observe uh, anticipated patterns that uh, uh, govern the human capital flight, the brain drain and gain um, phenomenon, but also use these uh, additional world development indicators to, to explore further how education or unemployment, labor metrics, financial uh, criteria have, um, uh, have come into play with, with um, the brain drain and brain gain. How do we implement this? So regarding the implementation, as we mentioned, there are two data sets. So the first one is curated specifically for this phenomenon, and it actually contains 20 different OECD countries. And it shows the, it gives the influx per level of educational attainment. So it shows us how low and how high, highly educated individuals migrate. And the second one is a, is a manually curated uh, list of world development indicators that would help us uh, really isolate those criteria for why. So from the first data set, we're getting the actual migration itself. And from the, the latter, um, we can get those uh, uh, characteristics. And the visualizations that we have, uh, as you can see uh, at, a, at a screenshot of the, visual, of the visualization dashboard, are firstly a world map where we will evaluate the net migration. Um, so how, how much its country uh, receives um, uh, and, and um, in terms of incoming and outgoing. Uh, migration. The, the second is a scatter plot, which will evaluate an unemployment metric uh, regarding that, that migration. Uh, the third is, is a bar chart, which uh, will show us the involvement of the brain drain migration for these 20 OECD countries. And lastly, we also have uh, two circular bar plots, which show the influx and outflux of highly educated individuals uh, per country of choice uh, regarding the the, the lower left bar plot, so we can choose a country and see how that is, um, how, how the migra migration is distributed. Uh, and we do that in two ways. The first one is in absolute numbers, and the second uh, circle of bar plot actually shows what percentage um, of the country of origin the people that are migrating represents. The main conclusions that we draw are, um, uh, are, are the following. Uh, firstly, as is anticipated, there is a historical and sociological context and uh, a high correlation uh, that we can notice. So this has to do with uh, a language. For example, there's a higher um, uh, human capital flight uh, numbers uh, from countries that have similar languages spoken. The second one is the US, that the US is the most popular destination for educated workers. Um, this uh, along with the fact that this notion of global north and global south is uh, really predominant across the data. 
lastly, we notice something that is quite interesting. Uh, human capital flight from countries that have low unemployment for highly skilled workers. That means that even if there is very low unemployment in, in a country, a highly skilled worker will not settle for this. And this means that even if you can find work, they will tend to, to migrate. So that means that it's not only unemployment or, or solely financial reasons which lead to this migratory pattern. As a future work, we're mentioning that uh, our goal is to also evaluate the gender aspect of the brain drain uh, phenomenon. Um, also compare these um, uh, results with low education workers, uh, potentially also add uh, other data sets to accommodate for uh, politically motivated uh, migration of highly educated people and other such sociological um, uh, information. And lastly, uh, as with us with coming in with new data, we will also need to, to, to include additional interactive elements such as potentially edge bundling. So this is our poster. And let's go right ahead and have a look at how the, uh, the dashboard works.